Alright, so allow me to start my two-part apology, thusly. In the last episode's epilogue, I stated that we'd be bumping it up a notch in trios. And yet here we are, all by our lonesome, in yet another glorious entry of our solo series. With the recent nerfs, I'd like to instead present to you a swan song of my beloved C-58. And the following massacre, well, it provides the best melody for such a ballad. Right about now, you're probably asking yourself, why on earth is he landing in farmland of all places? And moreover, why that exact farmhouse specifically? Well, here's where part two of that apology comes in. I am truly, truly sorry for what you're about to witness, as it is, hands down, the most premeditated rat shit play I have ever done. Continue watching at your own risk, for you might become as corrupted as I now am. I know, I know, I'm being cryptic, but everything will make sense very, very shortly. Alright, enough foreplay. Let's cut to the chase. Alright, lads, let's get it done. Why are we landing here? Well, here's why. Oh, it's so dirty. It's so dirty. Oh my. Uh, what have I become? But, but, look, this is war. Alright? This is war. Is it not? But still, my god. And apparently I felt so ashamed of myself that I thought I didn't deserve any one of these three armor satchels, apparently. Kibano, Kibano, I, I salute your sacrifice. As a person with at least some semblance of moral integrity, I would never dream up such a vile act of treachery on my own. It's better to just show you. Let's go ahead and jump back in time real quick. In the game prior, I landed Nakatomi, knowing that a red door is most likely here on the second floor. And there it is. I quickly gather what I can, and all the while looking forward to what spoils lie ahead beyond this space-time crapshoot. Time to roll the dice. And boy, do we win big. This farmland basement is the jackpot. It's got it all. And as I'm casually and gleefully raking in my chips, ambushed by JP Turtle. The amount of fury that I felt in this moment is simply indescribable, ineffable really. And as I sat in this gulag chair, I went from wishing the absolute worst on Turtle Boy to a state of genuine gratitude. As loathsome as it is, it's the smart play. Turtle Boy, you're right. Why roll the dice when you can just cut to the finish line for the all but guaranteed jackpot? Be advised, advance UAV is bingo fuel returning to base. In case you're unaware, be warned. The second you warp into a red door room, the doors barring its entry disappear. So be fast, be ready. Now back to the matter at hand. Sorry, Jordan, but there can be only one copyright jackal around here. All right. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts on that farmhouse ambush play in the comments. Is, is it a stoop too low? I mean, be honest. Is it cold but smart? Either way you fall on a line, give it to me straight. All right, Jack, let me hear it. Okay, now right here, this is a weird bug that's been happening every once in a while for me, where you try to grab a loadie through surfaces, and you, it just it like makes the sound, and like you're in the menu, but you can't pick anything. It's very strange. In any case, we're golden now. Area recon is up. UAV entering the AO. Oh. 
Jordan, I thought we already went over this, my guy. Come on, man. Wow, wow, how, how did he not see me? Holy. That's gonna cost you slick. next setting rally point well, what is with these damn windows goodness no what do we have here on a nice little sunday drive are we uav is bingo fuel rtb for resupply Moving right along, we are making our way down. Get on my location. Friendly loadout on the way. And the free loadout has just dropped, but since we're a specialist, we can just go ahead and ignore that for now. Let's go make those blips on the radar disappear instead. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocation. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB. Yep, man, now he's gone forever. The way the reactive guns charge up after a kill, that, that sound effect is so satisfying, isn't it? Get recon on my location. UAV entering the AO. Well, will you look at this rooftop camping little jabroni? Lately, I've been of the uh, philosophy of letting rats just rat. I don't need to push them. I'll, I'll get ahead of them, go do something else, and get back to them later when they're rotating. But something about this this rooftop camper right now, I just, you know. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. And plus, as a specialist, we can just go ahead and hack any booby traps he has. So let's go for it. I truly cannot believe people actually play like this. Literally not moving on a roof, doing absolutely nothing out of pure fear. They're, they're, they're cowards. They have no constitution, no, no fortitude, and absolutely no chance against this golden death quickly approaching. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually pinging the distance of his location. And through my deduction, I don't think they are camping the elevator hallway and instead waiting to die on the roof. Let's test my hypothesis. So far, so good. Oh, what do we have here? God, specialist really is the best, isn't it? Look at this Muppet. God, that, that, that is just embarrassing. You, you're pre-aimed at a door and allow that to happen. I mean, and to top it all off, your, your character is Rambo. Your, your name is Terminator. That's, that's just false advertising. You think John Rambo or the T-800 would spend their time camped on a fucking roof with proxy mines and then get erased from all of existence with such ease? I mean, my God, some goddamn respect. If not for your namesakes, at least for yourself. Oh, okay, so, so you don't want to survive much longer. No, no, I, I get it. Verdansk can be very stressful, and you've had enough. Let me oblige you. Wow, 
Where'd you go, pal? You were real brazen there a minute ago, and now you want to play all coy. Oh, all right, I'll just come to you. You think I'm just gonna let that shit slide back there, Ray Ray? No, 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 no. All right, now where was I? Get recon on my UAV entering the AO. Okay, looks like we got three rooftops occupied. Not much of a surprise since we are downtown. I'm thinking that we rotate street level through the museum for now, and then we'll make an executive decision about them momentarily. Be advised, UAV is being moved. RTB for resupply. I wasn't expecting that little play, but I'm sure they weren't expecting those stopping power bullets right to the forehead. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. Get recon on my location. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Okay, we'll mark this little birdie for later and prioritize this poor bastard up here who is about to jump into a hail of bullets. Hmm, that took more shots than I would have cared for. I mean, if you don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. You bit off a little more you could chew there, huh, guy? All right, off to that orange ping. Please keep driving. Enemy UAV Damn. overhead. Now right, let's just wait a second. Maybe they'll uh, maybe we'll get back an attack rover for a little C4 surprise. Oh, and who's this little aggressor? All right, well they're not going to push our old attack driver friend now because they need a plate. So let's hurry up and uh, try to join this party. Wow! 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 Wow, G Jesus. Oh, that was not the time to check your heartbeat, friendo. No, no, no. I mean, I was obviously right here. You know, I can't believe I got robbed of killing uh, Duke Gas Luke in there first. I mean, it even said double kill. You saw it. Unbelievable. God, 
God, I love the C-58. I really do. I'm not going to give up on it just yet, but... Oh, oh okay. Area. Watch the sky. Uh, uh, nah. We're going to go top white and do that thing I showed you guys last time to deal with uh, people on top of four corners. And we'll get the drop on them from up there. I just don't trust those four corner ladders. Enemy UAV overhead. Plus, you know, there's a buy station here. Let's grab a little UAV on the way. Every recon is off. UAV entering the AO. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. No cool proxy mine, bro. Standing. Ah, the rage grip. <laughs> Gotta love it. And there's Gulag Gary. This cross is not going to be easy. Not going to be easy. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Oh, man. All right, okay. Let's try to pick some people off before... Uh... Okay, here we go. Space is gonna be crowded for the strike. Fuck it. <sighs> Just stay calm. Just stay calm. Oh man, who am I kidding? I'm fucked. Holy hell, hell am I still alive. My only guess why they didn't thirst me immediately back there when I was down is because they thought the other rose was still in play. But holy. Okay, alright, okay, okay, focus, focus, focus. Only two plates, that's fine, that's fine. There's only one left, so we just gotta get the jump on this son of a bitch so we can pull this off. All right, they, they, they got to be lurking in the hills, right? They got to be. We'll just rotate wide left and just play it cool, right? We'll just play it cool. We close the gap enough. It's time for stopping power. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Loaded headshots with stopping power rounds, man. That's lights out, baby. <laughs> all gold and all dead. 
Goddamn. That, my friend, is my current PR in solos. I simply cannot crack that 20 bomb. Yes, that double kill earlier should have put us over, but what are you gonna do? Maybe if I drove around the whole time like a crazy person, like, uh, you know, K3, Metaphor, those guys, but that's just not my style. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I, I think that's what kind of sets me apart from the other creators and why you are a loyal agent in the Noise Warden Bureau. I go after everybody that I come across. I seek and destroy, but it's more methodical, more patient. The win is always my priority, yes, but I want to take out as many enemies as possible on the way to glory. Now, I'm aggressive, but, but I'm not a maniac. I'm actively playing for the win, never passively. It's like a hybrid style. I find that usually players are, you know, of one ilk or the other. It's kind of either or. Um, but what do you guys think? Am I out to lunch with the self-analysis or what? Look, I, I know I promised trios in that last episode, but, but I just had another Solos Massacre that just demands to be shared with you as soon as possible. It's, it's quite a ride. All right. As always, I appreciate your support and uh, I'll see you next time.